Hello there. Optimus Prime here. Uh, today I'm going to do a review of something that isn't an Optimus Prime. It does happen occasionally. I do collect other things and other Transformers. Uh, today this is going to be Transformers War for Cybertron uh, Galaxy Odyssey Micron Micro Masters. Um, this is an exclusive set. I got this from Amazon in America. It cost me some money um, and it's, it's a pretty cool set. If you like your Microns and your Micro Masters, um, it's a good way to expand your ranks. Um, there are so many of them now. I think there's about three molds and about 400 repaints of them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on and have a look at this. I'm going to use the fantastic photo booth to uh, look further, uh, but just to have a quick squizzy squiz. There they are in all of their glory. Obviously, it appears that there is a surplus of yellow plastic. That's the uh, Hasbro production facility. Okay, so I'm going to start by having a quick look at the box. Um, standard sort of generation select cardboard box, which is what they're doing more and more of these days. Um, inside, it's actually quite lovely. Uh, the plastic trap has already rescued the bots, uh, no pun intended. Um, so you've got the map uh, with all the different planets of the... Uh, the, the, the sets that have been released so far. All the way over here you have Micron, Planet of the Micromasters, or Minicons, or Microns, depending on your preference, um, which all seem to be the same thing these days. Micron being the Japanese uh, word for um, really small things. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, instruction booklet, which, let's face it, if you're having trouble transforming MicroMasters, um, you, you, you probably should stop collecting Transformers. Um, and then you have the little information card come out. Um, so a nice picture of Planet Micron. Unfortunately, my light is just reflecting off this big time. Um, so yes, Planet Micron. Um, it says Micron. There's a picture of Prime. And uh, yeah, and then you've got some information about Planet Micron. Um, I'm not going to read that. You can read that if you want at your own leisure. And at the bottom of the box, you have this quite nice image. I really like that actually. I'm not doing a t shirt, but one of those irritating tag things. They always, whenever I throw them out, they always seem to come back. Always. Anyway, this isn't a box review, this is a toy review. So, I have already rescued these from their box. Uh, that one. Um, so, yeah. First impressions. Uh, Oop, this dude. Yeah, even go the right way round first time. Go me. Um, so there's the dude. So let's just quickly go over there who they are. So let's start with this guy. This guy is Road Burner. He burns all of your roads. You can tell that. I guess. That's that dude. And uh, then there's Fire Guard. Fire Guard is this dude. He's called Fireguard. Um, yeah, so that's those two. And then ooh, the race car dude is Runner, which seems a bit of a misnomer as he's a car. And I imagine that he does more driving than running. But you know, I could be wrong. And then we have. Sorry, I'm looking at the instructions purely for the names because I do not know them. Sting Racer, I'll come back to him in a minute. Windstorm, who I will also come back to in a minute. And Motorhead. He's Motorhead. Very Motorheady, I'm sure. Um, cool. So that's 
that's the little the little the little guys in all their glory. Um, now, obviously, these are all repaints of existing MicroMasters. Better. Uh, so I grabbed together. Oops! I grabbed together all the ones I could find from their uh, non, well, their original colours. So here we have the equivalent of that dude, and uh, these two guys, uh, those two guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, Name-wise, I'm not even going to pretend to remember them. I couldn't find the, uh, the equivalent of him. Um, he is knocking around somewhere. I think I had him out for the review of Naval Commander, but um, have subsequently lost him. Everything's going to fall down. I give up. Stop it. Stay. Stay stood up. The little blighters. They are a little bit back heavy at times. Their arms out in front, and yeah, and, then. and uh, let's do that one. And uh, Sting Motor is in car mode, uh, yeah. So, again, let's just grab all those out again. They are almost mold wise identical, there doesn't seem to be any mold changes at all. I don't think there's any head swaps. I'll just uh, have a quick check. Uh, yeah, it's the same. I don't think you can even do head swaps because they're sort of moulded as part of the bodies. So, yeah, that's that's that. As I said, uh, there did definitely seem to be a surplus of yellow plastic. It's the same yellow plastic for three of the six bots. Very, very yellow. Um, which is fine, I suppose. And these guys, they transform exactly the same way that they do for the other versions because again no mold changes so they've still got their somewhat pony weapon modes if you so wish to utilize those and now I will make a mockery of myself by transforming it well. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> ha and I can transform a micromaster without failing I do love these micromasters. There's so many of them, and they make great little desk bots. Um, I had them displayed with all of my uh, uh, Siege and uh, uh, Earthrise bots, but I think I'm going to actually move them into their own little slot in my collection where they can live out their days unencumbered by hiding behind little bot uh, bigger bots trying to fill in caps and they're just going to have a little 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 micro master shell or micron or minicon since they seem to fill all all of those roles um i really really need to get the uh oh what's the the new space set called I forget. See, I can transform things, Mum. Simon will be pleased. Uh, <laughs> or he'll be mocking me, I'm sure. Um, yeah, the... Uh, oh, what's it called? I forget. Somebody will remind me, or I'll remember the second I finish recording this. Uh, the, uh, the the other set. The one with the, the rockets and the, uh, and the two uh, base bots. It looks amazing. Um, I <laughs> actually forgot to pre-order it. This doesn't click on there. Uh, I forgot to pre-order it and therefore have missed out as of now since we're going for silly money. Let's put it on my legs. Yeah. Um, I'm sure everyone is aware that these two dudes are a homage to uh, a couple of mask vehicles from the lovely and amazing 1980s toy line mask. Um, this one is a homage to Stinger, which I never owned, so I don't have it <laughs> to be able to uh, do a comparison. 
Um, I'll try and put some picks in the end. I'm not sure some of the in. in there. Uh, so it looks nigh on identical to the vehicle from Mask. Yeah. It looks like this. It was bright orange. It had darker coloured orange details. It was a hot rod kind of car. It had these, um, the, the exhaust on the side came up with guns. I think it had a disc, possibly. Maybe it had a grappling hook, I forget. It was, though, slightly different because the, the mask version was ruthless. And it was a bad guy who was ruthless. <sighs> Kill me now. And this is also a homage to a mask vehicle. And in this case, it was a Tornado, which was a 50s muscle car in wonderful mint green. Uh, with amazing flame details that the I'm failing uh, yeah it's a lovely mint green with uh, uh, some excellent uh, uh, flame details and the original mask vehicle was driven by a character called Hondo McLean remember for some reason. I think it was his second vehicle. Uh, but uh, it had uh, sort of guns that popped out of the, the, the lights in a sort of a James Bond style and the top part of the car sort of became a gun turret, which is really cool. Um, I again did not have that. Um, yeah, so as a set of largely superfluous mini cons that you've probably already got if you don't want to fork out another 30 quid for some microns that you've already got yeah don't worry it's not worth bothering about but if you are obsessively collecting all versions and all color variants then you're going to need this set it is lovely i do like uh, the two mask homages and i will really admit I am completely not fussed by the other four bots in the set so I've effectively paid 30 quid for two microns um, but I really like them um, they're fun and they will go with all of my other many piles piles of, oh no. piles of microns that I have so many Piles, so that's another micron. Um, yeah, I would get more, but I can't believe. So yes, that is the end of this uh, rather um, amazing look at these wonderful microns. Have fun and remember, microns. <laughs>
plastic.